In previous lesson, we have seen power of repeater, how we can create complex animations with that. So in this lesson, we will create some background patterns using repeater. Take rectangle tool and create one pretty large in length, just like this. Using pan behind tool, set its anchor point to its center, zoom screen, and we don't need stroke on it. And let's change its color to blue. Now keep this layer selected, take pen tool and draw a straight line over this rectangle. Select the shape and let's change its stroke width to 5 and change its color to white. We don't need fill color on it. Fit a screen. Now first I want to repeat the path only. So keep selected this shape and add repeater to it. But before that, put it to the left side of the rectangle. Now select it again and add repeater to it. By doing this, it will add repeater to inside of the shape only. Go inside of the effect and let's decrease its position. 25 would be fine for us. Now increase number of copies to fill the rectangle. Alright, collapse it. Expand shape properties of this rectangle. And let's rotate it to 30 degrees. Now we have to rotate lines also. So use its transformation properties and rotate it to 30 degrees. Just align it properly. Now to select all these, select shape layer and move both shapes to side of the composition, something like this. Let's use some layer style to it. Right click on this layer, go to layer styles and choose drop shadow. Zoom it to see this style. Now let's expand this drop shadow and adjust its settings according to you. Alright, fit the screen. Now I'm going to apply another repeater to it in order to repeat both shapes. So select contents and apply repeater to it. Expand repeater and let's increase position so that there will be a little gap between all shapes. Zoom it to see it clearly. I think we should reduce gap a bit. Now just increase number of copies so that it will fill whole screen. So you can see that how easy it is to create custom backgrounds using repeater just on one layer. To make it some more interesting, just go inside of the path, expand repeater and just reduce end opacity value. And you have created a very cool background. Let's create another one. Just hide it, take polygon tool and create one. Change its stroke to yellow. And let's give it a fill color of dark brown. Increase the stroke with some more, say 10 points. Fine. Use pan behind tool and center its anchor point to its center. Now let's add repeater to it. Expand the effect and increase position value to create some gap between shapes. It's not good. Go to shape properties of the polygon and make it of six sides so that we can snap their edges to each other. So now adjust position so that their edges will touch to each other. Let me fit my screen and put these shapes to the top left of the composition, something like this. Now increase number of copies to fill the screen. Collapse this repeater. And I'm going to use another one. It will repeat the upper repeater as we have seen before. And adjust both positions so that shapes will touch to each other in a precise manner. Fine. Now increase number of copies. Good enough. But we have to fill this blank area. To do that, just go to first repeater and increase number of copies so that it will create more copies on x-axis. Perfect. 
Now it's your turn to make it more interesting. Do some experiments with the styles and you will nail it. In next lesson, we will learn how to create text on a given path.